Hello everyone, my name is Liv and today I want to talk about my 2017 reading goals. Now this year is going to be a really different year for me reading wise because I'm doing a lot of different things and I'm just making my whole entire reading year laid back because last year I focused too much on the Goodreads challenge where you keep track of how many books you want to read in the whole entire year. I had it set for 100 books for 2016 and I did reach that goal but it felt so pressured and I felt so stressed out just trying to figure out what's the shortest books that I could read, what's the fastest way I can read in order to hit that goal. And that's not what I want my reading experience to be like. I want my reading experience to be laid back. I want to just pick up any book that's any size and just read it and just have fun with it without worrying about the whole entire set goal that I have planned. So for 2017, I did set a Goodreads reading goal because... I wanted to keep track of the pages and the ratings that I give because Goodreads at the end of the year they give a really good statistical page for your entire reading year and it shows you a lot of info that's really cool to learn about. So I set my Goodreads goal to a whopping one book in order to just be able to track all the books that I read in 2017 in a much more organized way on Goodreads because I really like the whole entire reading goal on Goodreads but I don't like the entire number process. So. My goal this year is to just read. I just want to read however many books I can read at the time because I am sure I'm going to be very busy throughout this year. So I'm not sure how many I want to read. If I could read 100, that'd be great. If I read less than 100, it won't worry me because I'm not really focused on the numbers anymore. This year, my book reading life is going to be focused more on quality rather than quantity. I'm not going to worry about the numbers. I'm not going to worry how many pages I read. I'm not going to worry about anything besides reading. If you were to ask 2016 Liv what she would be reading, she would be picking the shortest types of books, not too long, but not too short but just books that'll help her get through her reading challenge. But this year, since I'm not worrying about the numbers, I'm going to read books of any single size. Usually I stay away from books that are over 500 pages because I feel like, oh my god, that can take me two weeks, maybe even a month to read. I won't be able to read anything else. I won't be able to hit my goal. But since this year I'm focusing more on the quality of the books rather than the quantity, I'm going to be reading bigger books, I'm going to be rereading books because I just want to have a very relaxing reading year, not worrying about the numbers because that's something you don't really need to worry about and there's so much more important things to worry about than the number of books you read during a year. So that being said, let me show you three books I am very excited to be reading in 2017 because I'm not worrying about the page numbers anymore, I'm just going to be reading. The first book is a last book in a trilogy that I've been reading throughout the years and these books are hunkers, they're really really big and that's what always sets me back from reading them because they take such a long time, they're emotionally draining, they're just a whole big deal. And it is the third book in the Prisoner of Night and Fog trilogy by Paulina Simons. This book I believe is around 600 pages but it's just so jam-packed with action, it's so jam-packed with emotional elements that really hits you and it just is really draining. I usually read every single one of her books within like a month because it takes me such a long time because there's so much going on. It really rips your heart out. And this trilogy is a romance trilogy set during World War II in Russia and also follows a bunch of different areas because the characters travel throughout time. So it follows the story of a girl named Tatiana. She falls in love with a guy named Alexander and he is a part of the Red Army in the Soviet Union. So that starts a whole bunch of problems because because she's dealing with the negative effects of the Soviet Union and he's dealing with the fact that he has a bunch of duties to follow and it's just very tiring for both of them. There's so many circumstances that rip them apart, put them together, rip them apart again and I'm very eager to see what happens in the third book. I know it's very dramatic. I know it's not everyone's favorite book in the series so I'm just going to see what it's going to be like but I definitely want to pick this up in 2017 even if it does take me a really long time to read. The next book I really need to pick up because I've been putting off for too long and I just have to pick it up so I can continue with this series that I love and it is the second book in the Outlander series by Diana Gabaldon and this is Dragonfly and Amber and this book I believe is also really big. It's 700 plus pages. It's continuing the story of Jamie and Claire. Claire lives in the 1940s and she time traveled back into the 1700s where Jamie lives in Scotland and it's just a whole bunch of drama, it's a whole bunch of historical fiction, it's really steamy, it's really action-packed, it's just so interesting. If you watch the show, the show is really great in portraying the book 
And I really want to see the second season because it looks so great, but I don't want to see it until I read the book. So I'm definitely going to try and pick this up soon so I can read it and then watch the second season of Outlander because I've been waiting to see that show again because I love it so much. And I normally don't do rereadings, but since I'm trying to just relax my whole reading year, I decided that I want to reread one of my favorite books, and it is Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. And this is my second favorite book in Harry Potter series series and I really want to reread it in this illustrated edition because they have the prettiest illustrations in the book and I just need to read it and what better excuse to reread a Harry Potter book than to reread it with an illustrated edition. I really want to pick it up soon because the Harry Potter world is just so happy and so nice and I usually do not reread books. I usually stray away from it because I'm worried about trying to pick up new books and just diversifying my whole reading life. So I'm just going to set the time out to reread this book without worrying about the fact that I could be rereading something new. Along with rereading and not worrying about the number of the pages, I also want to read diversely. I know I do read pretty diversely, but I want to read more diversely throughout this whole entire year. And I know I'm not buying a lot of books this year. I'm trying to hold back as much as I can. But if there are really good diverse books that are coming out, which I know a lot of, I'm definitely going to pick them up. I really want to share my thoughts of the books with you guys to recommend them and share my reading experience of reading more diverse books because I feel like everyone needs to read diversely because I feel like it can just teach you so much. It can open your eyes to different situations. So I really want to read diversely as well and I'm going to try and do that as much as I can as possible because it's such an important topic and I feel like Reading diversely not only is important, but it's also really fun just to see different circumstances that you normally would not read in another book. And also reading own voices books where it's marginalized authors who are writing about their experiences that they have dealt with. I feel like that's so much more interesting and I really want to pick up a lot of diverse reads throughout this year. So those are all my reading goals for 2017. I'm so excited for this year. There's going to be a lot of changes. There's going to be a lot of fun activities I'm going to be doing and I cannot wait to help diversify this channel, make it more fun, do some more discussions, do some more tags, and I cannot wait to show you all the books that I'm reading in 2017 in my wrap-ups. What are your reading goals for 2017? Do you have a set number that you're going to try and reach or are you like me and you're not going to worry about the numbers? Please let me know down below because I love to start a discussion because everyone has their own ways of reading and I feel like that's so interesting. So be sure to like and subscribe. I will see you in another video. Have a good day. Bye!